Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about what is custom exception in Java programming language and when to use the custom exception in your product. First of all, what is an exception? An exception is an event which breaks the flow of execution of the program. So there is a program which is executed line by line and then there is a break happens in the flow and this is called as an exception and we have to somehow handle it in our product. So the steps are the problem event occurs in our product and then it creates an exception. Once the exception is created, it's thrown and somehow within the application, we have to handle the exception. There is one question, does Java has exception by default? Yes, Java has a lot of default exceptions. For example, IO exception, file not found exception, stack overflow, out of memory error. For example, when I try to read a file and file is not available, then it will throw file not found exception. So there are some default exceptions already available in Java programming language. Then what is custom exception? The custom exceptions are exceptions that are very specific to the application business logic. Let's see a core example now. I've created a class called custom exception demo and there is a main method and there is a method called get first line. So I'm passing a file name but the file does not exist so we are going to get a file not found error. So here in this file manager class, it's trying to read the file. The file is not available. So file not found exception is thrown. So what I'm trying to do inside here is I'm trying to check the file name. If it's equal to wrong file name, then we are throwing an incorrect file name exception. This exception is a custom exception. This belongs to the business logic of the application. Whereas this one is a default exception from the Java programming language. So how do I create a custom exception? You can see here, I can create my own class and then I have to extend the exception and I have to provide the error message and throwable. We can also have some additional parameters if you require. So currently I'm debugging it. So it came inside this catch block because file not found. And then I'm again checking for my business logic. Again, it throws a custom exception. When I run this program, I'm able to see the error displayed in the and so so we have seen how to create a custom exception in java hope this small program is useful thank you